welcome back. This is just a quick wee improv video. So I've just filmed a bunch of videos in a row. And the first video that I filmed is one that you've seen just before this one. It is the Heath Slater Elite figure. So I got this figure. So as much as I like this figure, some of the joints are extremely... Like this foot, as you can see, doesn't move that much. But if, you look, if I stand them straight, you can see this arm moves up and down in all directions fine you can go against his as close to his waist but this one can move up and down but the arm won't move up or down in that direction and i'm afraid i'm going to break the joint and his head's a little bit wonky he won't straighten up so i'm going to show you a method that i've been using for absolute years how to fix action figures it's a well-known method but a lot of people may not know it and i don't want people risking breaking the figures i thought shit so we'll sit there like so two things we need a tub or pot i'm using a tub and personally i use a wee ziplock bag so first things first i'm going to jump cut to this tub being filled with boiling water all right so that's a filled with boiling water you can probably see the steam pissing off the thing so the aim here is to submerge the joint or the part of the figure that you want to fix if you submerge it in hot water it softens the plastic enough because it's warm and you can fix it and move it about and loosen it but i don't want to put it straight in the water because drying action figures are pain in my tits so I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and submerge them that way. So just find a bag or something big enough for your figure. This way your figure stays bone dry, but you can still mould the figure. There we go. So I'm going to put them in shoulder first. So it's this shoulder here that I want to fix. So I'm just going to submerge them in the water like that for about two minutes. I forgot my egg timer, so I'm just going to do a quick jump cut found the egg timer so it's a three minute timer so i'm going to leave them some mails for three minutes and that should be enough for me to fix this still waiting for the three minutes to go up and sitting here getting a wee bit bored but i found this under my table in a box of random junk i could find, make videos of does anybody remember these bad boys while we're waiting aliens and eggs i've had this for years i think this slime's evaporated it's still sealed but i'm pretty sure there was more slime in there than when i got it or has it always been that little amount i don't know but I do have a big jar full of slime there for if I need to refill it. Maybe I could put the alien in the jar. Hmm. And the sand is about to run out, so the time is about... Excellent. Now we can take our Heath Slater out of the... Hopefully that's been enough time. We'll find out in a minute. I'll just move this hot water over there so I don't burn myself. I've hit the camera with my nose. So, take him out of the Ziploc bag. He's going to be nice and dry. Oh, look at that, look how much I can move his head in that about. So let's see if I can get any movement out of his arm. So let me just pop this off. So I'm just going to pop off his arm just now so I don't break it. So let's see if I can get some, look at that, I've got actual movement in his arm now. So we were getting no movement up and down. We can turn that, but we couldn't turn the ball joint in and out so let's see if we can get some movement let's see so i've not broken the figure by popping his arm off because the plastic's still nice and soft it will straight back on so, but look at that i'm actually able to do that with the arm this figure is actually really warm so i've got some movement in his head too so let's just get that figure nice and loose. Come on, loosen up. There we go. Become a loosey goosey. We don't want you to be all stiff. So, as you can see, we can now move it in that direction. Like, look how close we can get it to the torso. Now, we couldn't do that before. So let's get his arm back on. As you can see, it's just a simple... There we go. So let me just test it. Look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put you back in the zip up bag and I'll put them in some cold water just so the plastic cools down a bit quicker. Actually, in fact, I will just leave them here to sit and cool on its own. But that's how you fix a stiff joint. That is how you fix a stiff joint. So yeah, so that's Eve Slater, baby. So his arm's fixed. His head is back to normal. So that's how you fix your figures. So wait, look at that. So I can put the both arms straight down. Perfecto.
Thanks for watching. So if you've got any more wee tips like this when it comes to action, action figure repairs or little hints and hacks, just let me know and I'll do more like this because there's a few that I've picked up over the years. Have a good one.